Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Rubber Padded Spoon. Child care. Looking for child care for my one year old daughter. Preferably in the Mason area. It would be two to four days a week. Depending on where you're located, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Willing to pay $30 to $40 a day. Pick so we don't get lost. Look, Beggy, I understand you need childcare and that it's pricey, but if you're going to be trying to work someone almost 12 hours in a day and only be willing to pay them $40 tops, you're not really going to find anyone to help. This next one is by Doorman666. Lady wants about 90k worth of doors on a horse barn. She believes it's only worth 10k and says it'll be an advertising showcase for my business, so she should get 80k off her total. I hadn't even put anything in writing yet. White ribbed vinyl back doors. I hope she loses my number. You gotta love those beggars that tell you it would be great advertising because in the end it's only a great deal for them. This next one is from Darth Doro. I love all the meals so far. I really do. But come on, today I received this complimentary item in my box. Huh? My friend received a beautiful healthy kale salad mix and I got a caffeine loaded energy drink in a banged up can. It went right down the sink. Do better hello fresh. Very disappointed. Wait, you're complaining about something you got for free? Yes they are. They indeed are complaining about something they got for free. This next one is by Mr. Gopnik. Hi James, is this still available? You're dreaming if you think you're going to get $350 for that. <laughs> Someone already offered it, so I'll keep dreaming. Working out fine so far. Good score then. <laughs> you ripped them off. If you can't pay $350 for a PS4, then you should really be spending your money on more important things, my guy. Got mine brand new for $220. <laughs> Is that why you texted me asking if mine was still available? This man buying a second PS4? You must be really rich, man. Sorry I ever bothered you. <laughs> I'm just taking the shiz. Sins pig. Nothing gets through you, does it, big boy? The thing a lot of people don't get right now is because of the console shortages, it's made the last gen consoles more valuable and people are buying them up, so of course you're gonna have to pay the price that people are asking if you want to secure one. This next one is from The Dapper Demon. Thanks for the award. Needless. By the way, I don't want thanks. I want you to give me a word on my post. Open my account and please give, brah. Hey. Yeah? Bro, a word on my post, please. I need a lot. That's why I'm saying just one award. One, I don't have any awards to give. And two, beggars can't be choosers, mate. Fuck off. The fact that this person clearly gave an award out of hopes to get an award is just baffling. I was always told if you give something, give it to give, not to expect to receive. This next one is by Friendly Acadia 6495 Am I doing something wrong? Because it feels like I've been posting and talking, and yet it feels like I'm getting hardly any attention. I swear, the only reason we even got any money in right now is because Blank posted about it. Meanwhile, it feels like I'm shouting into a void and it's hard to not feel depressed about the whole thing. Being sick probably isn't helping, but I really don't think it's just in my head. I can tell you right now, people don't like to be around downers and if you keep posting and talking about downing things, of course you're not really going to get much attention because people are going to see that as attention seeking behavior. This next one is from ForksU18040. Part time sitter in exchange for room and board plus $50 weekly seeking a part time sitter to assist with two very independent sons ages 11 and almost 8. You get a very large room with bow window, large screen TV, DVD player, radio, internet, use of washer and dryer. You share the bathroom with boys and you share most of the house. Live in a beautiful rural area, 
but Walmart, Dollar General, grocery stores, etc. are between 5 to 15 minutes away. There is also a large, beautiful lake nearby. Both boys go to the school full-time between 8.45 a.m. and 3.45 p.m. Some things you would be assisting with are helping them with breakfast on some school days, taking them to the bus at the end of our road some days, as well as picking them up from the bus some days. Here's an example of a day. Start helping at 7.30 a.m. until boys get on the bus at 8.45, then get them off the bus at 3.45, then help with light snack and homework. Play with them or interact with them and assist with supper one to two days a week. There are occasional days that you would care for them both all day. Need someone who will play outside with them, make them laugh, and make sure they're always safe and content. Someone who is also a role model to them, just as much as we are. Healthy, clean, neat, and active. Some personal responsibilities you would have are keeping your room and bathroom clean. Your laundry, kids laundry, cleaning up after yourself and boys after meals. There are plenty of opportunities to work to make money outside of the house. We think this is a great deal and has always worked for us and past sitters. It works out great because you have no bills to pay here except your own personal bills like cell phone, car, insurance, credit cards, etc, etc. You pay no rent, electric, or heat plus get $50 weekly. Food is also provided. Think about the savings. If it's always worked out in the past for you guys and past sitters, how come you have past sitters and not current sitters if it was such a great deal? I'm just curious. This next one is by Capazor. Looking for a location this Saturday? Requirements. Spacious. Doesn't have to be a large warehouse. Electricity and WC. Can't make it dark. Free. It's a passion project. I'll check out all the offers. My guess is you'll be checking out an empty comments section. You're asking for so much, I don't understand why you need all that and are so unwilling to pay. This next one is from 4hex. You seem to be having issues with a lot of people lately. I wish you the best, but don't you think you should refrain from posting all these videos on social media? It causes a lot of drama and I'm sure you don't need that in your life. Take care. Absolutely not. This is how I make a living. Thanks for understanding. You also watch my content, so it must be entertaining. If you want me to stop, e-transfer me 50 bucks. That's three meals here at gmail.com. I don't find it entertaining. I find it concerning to see someone going through all this. That's all. I'm honestly broke. I get paid by TikTok once a month, so unless you can butt me groceries. Lots of jobs are looking for people. The funny thing is, is they get paid once a month. They're clearly not budgeting properly to be able to make that money last throughout the month. They should work on that. This next one is by Internet User 239. Danny. Full time, $100 to $200 a week. Job details, drop off the children at school, watch toddler, 6.15 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, must have a license, must love kids, must be willing to drive long distances. At $100 to $200 a week, you're going to be hard pressed to find anybody willing to jump at that opportunity. This next one is from New. So Black Widow, edit. If you're going to give me an award, go big and go gold. If people are going to give you an award, they're going to give you the award that they give you and that's that. And our final one is from CPT Cookie 45. So I used to work part time at a kebab shop down my street. Very nice co-workers. I knew most of our patrons and we had a lot of regulars. Good times I'd say. We used to have a weekly special, discounted kebabs, so on these days, there was a lot of orders, especially in the afternoons. One of those days was the time I met my first in real life choosing beggar I think. Choosing beggar comes in and places his order, I handed him his food, he paid, everything seemed normal enough. After about 15 or so minutes, choosing beggar came back in and started complaining. You messed up my order. I want a new kebab as soon as possible. 
Oh, my apologies. Let me make you a new one ASAP. Would you mind returning your wrong order then? We don't like wasting food. We usually just shared wrong orders leftovers in our breaks. Well, I obviously can't since I ate it all. Oh, well, okay. Here's your kebab. That will be 3.5 euros. Well, you messed up my order, so it should be given that that one is free. Excuse me? This guy finished an entire thing and had the audacity to ask for a new free one. I'm sorry, but since you finished your meal, I can't give you a new free one. You guys are scammers. I'll never come back to your shitty place. I'd very much appreciate that. Have a nice day, bud. Then he dragged his ass out of the store. Well, that's how I got a nice meal for my lunch. My boss saw the whole thing and gave me a break plus a free kebab. Nice. I'm still not sure if it was a choosing beggar or am I the asshole moment. Still wanted to share the story though. No, they were definitely a choosing beggar and a bit of an asshole on top of it. You know, they ate something that clearly was wrong, but it was good enough for them to eat. So clearly if it was good enough for them to finish, it was good enough to satisfy. All right. That's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. Have a great day and stay safe out there.